when people go to their first Agile Austin meeting, I think a lot of the feedback I've heard is that they're always amazed at how passionate the community is. Can you give me some reasons as to why it's gotten, why it's so vibrant and why it's gotten so big? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good question. So Agile Austin's been around for a while now, uh, what, eight years or so. We've always been, in, in, instead of like a top-down thing where you've got a, a small group of people that are trying to, uh, you know, control everything, it, it's really been, you know, sort of trying to get everybody in, involved, right? Everybody uh, volunteering, helping out, and, and focusing on the area that they're most passionate about, right? And so the uh, special interest groups that we have were a great way to sort of help that along, right? And so people that were passionate about development, they could, you know, help lead up that SIG and get people involved in that. Um, so I, I think it's just the, the distributed nature of, of how we, we lead Agile Austin. You know, the conference is, is another great example. Everybody that, that signed up for that, it was, that's just something that they were interested in trying, right? And we've got 20 or 30 people that consistently show up to all of our meetings once a month or, or more frequently as we get closer to the conference, just really enthusiastic and, and willing to, to step up and take things on. And so it's, it's just an awesome community and it's, it's worked really well, the distributed leadership. Do you think that being in Austin, do you think that there's something about Austin, our city, that lends itself to having a passionate Agile community? Or do you think it's that we just happen to magically have an amazing group of people who love what they do? So uh, Austin is a special place, right? Uh, I, I think maybe a couple aspects. Of it. Certainly, we're a, we're a tech hub, so we've got a lot of tech people. So that's, that's certainly one of the reasons we have so many people interested in Agile. And it's also a very casual, you know, sort of place, right? It's not very formal, and so I think that really helps that distributed, as, uh, you know, leadership aspect of it, right? Everybody's just, you know, like everybody else, and, and just helping out and trying to, you know, do cool things. So, can you kind of walk me through the history of the Keep Austin Agile Conference? This is the mm -hmm. fourth one. This is the fourth one, yeah. So it's it's been almost annual. We our first one was 2012, and that was in the fall, and then we the next one was in the spring. So that's the reason it's not quite annual, but. Uh, we were just looking for a way to get more involvement, more people into the Agile Austin mix, right? In addition to the, the 10 or 15 meetings that we have every month, just another opportunity to bring everybody together and have great conversations, make connections, right? And so we, uh, we decided to try out a conference. And we weren't sure how well it was going to take off, you know, how big it was going to be. Um, we actually had one even before Keep Austin Agile that was more of an open space conference. Um, but uh, so with Keep Austin Agile, we, we just got a bunch of people that were interested in it threw it together, the first one had 400 people, the next one 500, then 600, this one's 725, and so it's just growing and growing and growing and taking off. Do you kind of see the growth of the conference mimic the growth of Agile in general? Uh, I, think, I think it's a couple of things. What One is Agile growing and, and getting more and more accepted and dominant in the industry. And, and you sort of see that with, uh, with the de demographics of the people that are attending. Um, at this point, maybe only 20% are beginners. Most people have at least some experience doing it, right? Um, but it's also just more people being aware of it and, and, and some of the, the great things that are going on within this organization, a lot of the opportunities and, and great, great topics and conversations and the ability to sort of help each other out and figuring out problems and how to solve them. Um, so getting the word out and, and just getting more and more people involved, it's, it's, just, it's grown really well. Where do you see Agile Austin going in the next five years? Yeah, you know, that's an interesting question. I, I think we're at sort of a pivot point with the conference. Uh, so we had 725 people this year. I think we're about as big as we can get, maybe, maybe just a little bit bigger with focusing on Austin, maybe San Antonio area. We really, if we want to get bigger from here, we need to go pull in more from Houston and Dallas. We need to go more nationwide, right? And so it's it's a question of do we keep it a regional conference or we try to make it you know, bigger than that. And that's something that this, this committee is going to have to try to figure out for this next one. The other question that we've got is you know, we've, we've been one day. We always talk about one day versus two day. And so I, I don't know, I'm sure we'll talk about that again too.